The Collector's Guide to Case XX Pocket Knives and Prices is proud to present videos on Case XX Pocket Knives. This video is intended for new collectors. At the end, you will understand the basics of what the code used on every model number stamp means. There are basically four parts to the coded model number stamp. The first part is the handle code. In this case it is a six indicating a bone handle. Uh, the next video in the series explains what the uh, various handle codes mean so be sure and uh, review it after you do this one. The second part in the example is number two, which is the count of blades in this knife. The third part of the model number is uh, called the pattern code. Uh, in this case, it's 54, and this is a number uh, indicating the shape and frame that this knife has. In this case, it is a trapper. The fourth part, which doesn't appear on this stamp, it isn't always there. I use a scientific term and I call it the rest of the stuff. As you will soon see, the key to identifying the knife is the second position, that is the blade count. And so here we have an example of the knife we've been talking about. This is a bone-handled, two-bladed, 54 pattern trapper. Isn't that a pretty knife? Makes your hands sweat. Let's look at another one. This is a 6154 LSS pattern number. Okay. Uh, you know that 6 is a bone handle and this knife has a bone handle. It has a single blade from the 1. You know that and there it is. One blade. It is a 54 which is the same shape size and everything as the previous knife and the LSS is the rest of the stuff. In this case it means a locking knife with stainless steel blades. At this time you don't really need to worry about the rest of the stuff in order to find this knife on my database. We are getting good at this so let's do another one. Model number on this one is G6354SS, okay? Now, what's the first thing you notice about this picture, right? This knife has three blades, so you can instantly tell where the second position is. It is the three, and there is now more stuff to the left, the G6. This remains the handle, okay? G6 stands for green bone. There's your pattern number 54, and the rest of the stuff is SS on this one. Let's change things up a little bit. Uh, this Tang stamp says 3347 HP. Okay, we know the second position is the blade count, and sure enough, we are looking at a three-bladed knife. The three in the handle code position represents the yellow composition handle that you're seeing. 47 is a pattern number. It's a serpentine knife with three blades like this. It is called a Stockman. And then the rest of the stuff is HP. H is an abbreviation for a sheep foot blade, which is in position 2. And P is the abbreviation for a spay blade, which of course is used in castration of cattle. Trust me on this. The cattle all hate to see the ranchers opening up the spay blades. Okay, here's a 5347 HP. You notice that this is the same pattern, 47, that we just looked at with the yellow handle. Has the same three blades in the second position. And it has a five in the first position for, uh, five represents stag handles. The rest of the stuff has HP again. 
sheep foot blade and spade blade but there is also an SSP which stands for stainless steel with a polished edge. Here is another three blade stockman knife. Uh, the only difference in the model number being the eight in the first position. Um, eight represents genuine pearl handles as you see here and the rest of the stuff has an SS on the end which stands for stainless steel as you saw earlier. But otherwise the frame is the same, the blades are the same and uh, the only difference is the handle. This, this one is interesting. Uh, this is a 71953. You can see that it is a single blade knife, so you can identify the second position by the one. Everything to the right of the one is the pattern number. In this case, it's 953. You may also come across patterns that have zero or two zeros before uh, a number like 54 and incidentally the seven handle code means a wooden handle. This knife is also a relatively new pattern. It's called a rush lock. Notice that the blade does not have a pull to open it. Rather it has what's called a gimped lever that you push on to open the blade. As in many things there are exceptions to uh, the rules we have learned so far case uh, actually names two or three different knives. Um, and this is one of them and the tang stamp on this uh, says muskrat and that's all it tells you. The muskrat knife incidentally is a two-bladed knife, same blades on each end. That completes video two on the model number stamp. Just remember this quick summary and you will do great. Count the blades on your knife. Find that number in the model number stamp. Everything to the left is the handle code. Everything to the right is the pattern number. And then there is the rest of the stuff. Mm -hmm.